We've explored briefly in the previous segment how life insurance, total and permanent disability, trauma and income protection might go together. And again, we're joined by Pina Sharoni, who is Head of Retail at AIA Australia. Welcome back again, Pina. Nice to see you. It's great to be back again, Kerry. Thank you. Pina, can you tell us a little bit about trauma insurance, please? Absolutely. Trauma insurance provides you with a lump sum of money in the event that you have a major trauma. Um, again, it can be a, a, an accident, a major accident or a major illness. So as examples, um, you have cancers, uh, you have heart attacks um, or you have some musculoskeletal type, type diseases. Um, cancer and heart attacks are probably the most common forms of, uh, of illnesses and we find that um, when we're making payments under trauma insurance, it's uh, a lot of the time it's as a result of cancers and heart attacks and and if you think about it out there and you think about people that you know um, a number of people would know other people who've had cancers or heart attacks mm. so that's what we protect with trauma insurance uh, we'll come back to trauma insurance but could you think give us a brief outline of what income protection insurance is yes income protection uh, is another form of insurance uh, that covers you again in, in the event of a sickness or an illness or an accident. But it's much more short term. What, what income protection uh, actually does is it protects your income. So it protects your salary and, uh, and it protects your salary up to, up to 75%. So it's a much more shorter form of, uh, of, of insurance and it covers you for more temporary type, type disabilities. So for example, you might be off work for, for a number of months and uh, an income protection can cover you uh, for that period of time that you're off work, which is really important because uh, even though you've stopped working or you're not working because of a, an illness or an accident, uh, the bills still keep coming in, uh, the education feel, f fees still keep coming in, you've still got to pay for the cost of living. So income protection helps you pay for, for those things and, uh, and hence not disrupt your life too much and, and make you focus on uh, getting better, which is really uh, the most important thing at, at, at that time, rather than worrying about the finances and paying the bills and, and the mortgage. Okay. Um, I read a statistic once that said that if you were making a temporary claim on an income protection policy, it was, there was a 60% possibility that you would be on a long-term claim. How would an income protection policy cover the longer term end of, a, of the risk? Yes. Look, income protection can actually uh, pay you for, for quite a long period of time. Uh, we have products out there that, uh, that can cover you uh, right up to the age of 65 or right up to the age of 70. Um, and then we have income protection products that cover you perhaps just for two years or, or five years. So uh, an income protection policy, if you're, if you're ill and off work for that period of time and not working for that period of time or perhaps only partially working for that period of time due to an accident or sickness, uh, an income protection policy can pay you uh, for that period of time. But this is where trauma insurance fits in nicely uh, as well because uh, uh, with trauma insurance it can offer you a lump sum payment uh, pretty much right up front as well and, and that'll help pay for the cost of uh, healing or, or treatment or again paying for, uh, for expenses. Uh, Pina, we saw in an earlier segment how insurance companies price risk and a smoker is a higher risk as is a female in life insurance but a male is a better risk in terms of income protection mm -hmm. and how occupations can affect uh, the ability of an insurance company to offer income protection for example. If we had somebody who was a smoker and uh, a hang glider and blew up bridges for an occupation or whatever would they be able to get insurance? And if so, how would the insurance company handle that? Yes, look, they most likely can, can get insurance. Uh, the insurer looks at each case on a case-by-case on a -case basis. So what they may do is uh, they may restrict the, the benefit period. So they might offer uh, an income protection benefit that if that person was on claim, uh, they, the maximum time that they could be on claim would be only perhaps two years, okay. as distinct to another product where you can be on claim right up to the age of 65 or the age of 70. Um, or they may exclude certain, uh, certain activities. So, so for the person that's hang gliding, for example, they may say, you know what, we're going to protect you, um, but from these insurances, we're going to exclude those, those activities. Really, because insurance companies understand risk, there is no one out there who can't get an offer of some kind? Pretty much you can get any sort of offer out there. Um, it's, it's a matter of the insurer 
uh, assessing the risk and, uh, and and having a look at um, you know what would be the what would the person uh, be able to pay for that risk. There are some instances though, Kerry, where uh, it just doesn't make sense for an insurance company to take on take on that risk. So uh, you may have an instance where uh, uh, cover can't be provided. But you know there are a number of insurance products out there, um, a, a number of uh, different types of insurance products. So you can be confident that you will get some form of uh, of cover. Apina, let's round out this conversation about income protection and trauma by asking you: Do you use these insurance covers in your own personal affairs? Yes, I do. I uh, I have uh, uh, life insurance, which covers uh, covers me in the event of my death and protects my family. I have with that trauma cover. Um, and I primarily took that to, uh, to cover the cost of my mortgage so that in the event that, that something happens to me, uh, my mortgage is uh, paid for and, uh, and my husband wouldn't have to worry about the mortgage. Mm -hmm. I also have income protection which covers, uh, covers my salary. Um, and in addition to that, Kerry, I have total and, and, and permanent disablement as well. Mm. Um, we talked uh, in a previous series about um, uh, child's trauma. So, yes. I, and, uh, and I told you that I actually have insurance cover for my children as well, and uh, and that's linked to my trauma cover. So I have that as well. Okay. The um, the trauma for children is interesting. Mm. Um, what sort of events does that does that cover? Mm. That again covers uh, uh, the major trauma events that uh, that an adult uh, would experience as well. And uh, you know we talked about um, uh, cancers and things like that. So, so any sort of major trauma um, uh, that uh, a child might experience, it might be a major burn, for example, uh, that uh, that might uh, that a child might experience. Um, so it's very similar types of events that uh, that an adult um, would experience. Hmm. I'd, I've never known anyone who's received a claim for any insurable event be upset about receiving money. Um, I've known many of my clients who haven't been insured and as a result of that their lives have been seriously affected. Absolutely. I mean, you, you think about it and, and often often people will say, goodness, I'm not going to put insurance cover on my, on my children. It's taboo. You know, I don't even want to think about my children um, suffering or being ill. Um, I, I, I really believe it's the wrong way to look at it. As a, as a parent, um, you know, I would want to ensure that, that uh, if, my tr if something happens to my child, uh, that there is a lump sum of money there that I can use to help treat and heal uh, my child and uh, relieve me from my work and, uh, so that I can be by my child's bedside. Very quickly, what would be a full but affordable insurance program from your perspective? Definitely income protection because mm -hmm. that's protecting your, your income, it's protecting your salary. So if you're going to start anywhere, yeah. I'd absolutely start with income protection. And, uh, and then I would move on to uh, life insurance, uh, particularly where you have dependents and, and you have debts. Mm -hmm. uh, and then trauma cover and, uh, and total and permanent disablement. But uh, uh, probably trauma cover even ahead of uh, total and permanent disablement. The, the incidences of, uh, of traumas, of heart attacks, of cancers uh, in Australia is quite high mm. and, uh, and the statistics are quite high and quite relevant. Uh, so trauma cover is, is extremely important but it's probably the, the most expensive cover of, uh, of all covers but extremely important. Yeah. Uh, total and permanent disability gets to be more expensive when you're most likely to claim and tends to be a little bit cheaper when you're not likely to claim. So. Yes, yes, yeah. very, and that's very true, and that's yeah. a, a very true statement, absolutely. Hmm. Okay, Pina, look, thank you very much again for being our expert once again, and we really enjoy having you on the show. My pleasure. Thank you, Kerry. Thank you for having me.